We're live. I think we're live. I think we're live. It's pinwheeling. We're going to see. Thinking about being live. Considering being live. Mostly committed to being live. I think we're live. We're live. Now we're live. In the live video, yep. Now it's we're official. live. What's up, guys? Anybody out there? We're back. Sweet. Hopefully it's Wait, louder this week. Where are you going? I have to blow my nose. All right. Trevor's going to step outside and blow his nose. I am going to try to find our link so I can read comments and questions for people who might have some. Let me know if you're there. Anybody there? Anybody out there in TV land, interwebs land, watching the lives? Can't find this. I don't know where it is. Oh, someone's there. Hey, Alex. I think this is Alex all the way in England. Jolly old England watching from across the pond? I think that's right. We're live. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let me turn my volume down there. All right, guys. Hey. I'm back. Trev's back. I'm better than ever. Mm, you're as good as ever. Decent. Decent. I appreciate you being decent for these live <laughs> videos. <laughs> that's better than we can say for you. What's this about you haven't been wearing pants the last few weeks? Listen. I thought you were wearing pants. It was... I thought it was Casual Friday. <laughs> casual Friday means something different. I got a Good Friday mixed Apparently. up with Casual Friday. I'm, uh, I'm also wearing my uh, shorts today. so uh, I wore a button-up shirt and everything. Look at you. Looking nice. Ladies, he's available, just so you know. Loves Jesus, <laughs> reformed, and available. How do you? That's three out of three, girls. Come on. Alex says hi. What's up, Alex? Right, this is Alex all the way across the pond, right? I think, I think this is Jamie's brother, Alex. Pretty sure. Yeah? It's not letting me click on his name. I think it is. Well, just say, just respond. Trevor's going to try to be quick on the responses. Everybody gets a response today. But also, y'all need to know, there's a five-second delay on responses. Like, well, there's a five-second delay in the video. So we're actually five seconds ahead of you guys. We're in the future. <laughs> Guess what? Coronavirus is still here. In the future. You don't know that. If I've said this in the future, I do. You've not been tested. You don't know. I mean, I don't have it. You don't know. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, so we're going to do our, uh, before we get to our Lunchtime Live Bible study, I wanted to just uh, talk quickly about uh, the content we do put out there, um, just so everybody's kind of aware of our content schedule. Um, on Sunday, we put out our sermon. And uh, for that sermon, I, I kind of want to leverage us. Um, between me, you, and Jamie, we are good friends. And so we, uh, we do love each other, and we love the Bible. And so we're teaching a kind of a three-man band sermon. And so um, t- tell us if you like that. I don't know. I feel like it's fun. Um, I'm having a good time. We filmed that. We put it out there. That, could, that goes out Sundays, 5 o'clock-ish. I'm going to say ish because uploads are weird. Um, so... Yeah, it is Jamie's brother, right? It's Jamie's brother and his and Jamie's brother's or Jamie's sister-in-law. What's up, guys? And they're both watching. Well, man, that's awesome. And now Cliff is watching. I called him out, so he's got to stay. We're worldwide. Hey, Cliff, good to see you, buddy. <laughs> um, hey, so content Sunday, five p.m. We get our sermon out midweek on Wednesday in the morning. We put out quote of the week, and that's a uh, that's this kind of light and fun thing we do. We have a serious quote to help for serious times, but we keep it light and fun. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's become a news broadcast. Yeah, not a news broadcast. It's a morning <laughs> show. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> and then in the evening, we do a Zoom Bible study, and uh, we did want to go ahead and open that up. If anybody wants to get involved in that, let us know. I'll try to remember to send you a link. I did not send Miranda a link this week. I am so sorry. Terrible person. Let me get better at it. I forgive you. Forgive my trip. I'm going to take that. <laughs> I'm going to take that. Um, so that. Let's see. So that Sunday is sermon. Midweek we have Zoom Bible study, quote of the week. And then Friday we do lunchtime live. And that's kind of our, our content so that you guys can uh, – we want to add value. You guys, if if this is adding value, let us know how. We want to know what, what, what matters about what we're doing. How does it help you with your walk with Jesus? That's, I think it's a pretty big question. We, we think we are adding value. We think we're helping people with their walk. But are we? I don't know. I don't know. Let us know. Let's, in fact, let like, us know. comment, share. Like, comment, share. Let us know. But also just let us know. Yeah, that'd be helpful. <laughs> uh, also, let us know if this is too quiet. Last week it was a little quiet. Yeah. From what I was told. 
Yeah, so we're still uh, working out the kinks of uh, Facebook Live. Yeah. It's because Facebook keeps changing their Facebook Live. I'm going to be honest. When I was a kid, I thought that year 2020, I'd have a jetpack and a dog with a uh, goldfish bowl in his head because he lives in space. And I don't have either of those. <laughs> that goldfish bowl on his head. Well, because he's like an astronaut, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't have those. I have, uh, have Pilates that bite me. Um, they're lovable, um, but uh, we'll really <laughs> they hate him. But uh, I don't have that. I have Facebook Live problems and Kawhi's. <laughs> so I'll take it. And coronavirus. I don't have that, dude. Well, I mean, I mean, it's here in the future. Five seconds from then. Yes, it's still here. Hey, so this is our lunchtime live. We're going through the seven stories of hope because we, we want to give hope during these hard times, and I want to make sure that's that's. We just hand it out freely. We have Jesus. He is the hope of the world. And so we want to make sure others have that as well. And we also want to make sure y'all are engaging. So uh, ask questions. Um, give your thoughts in the comment section as we're watching through it live. That's right. Also, another thing I was thinking, I think we need Jimmy or Jim. We need them for some kind of control to the group. We don't have, <laughs> we don't have Jamie or Jim. They are uh, the uh, the shot callers to mine and Trevor's. We're the wild cards. Yipping and barking. And so, <laughs> We're going to try to take turns being good cop and bad cop, but sometimes we're both bad cop, and that's the way it goes. <laughs> Welcome to the show, folks. <laughs> so, uh, Seven Swords of Hope. This week, we're going to be in Luke chapter 19. I'll give you a second to turn there. This is, uh, we're going into the story of Zacchaeus. Would you please you know sing you know me the song? song. <laughs> you know what I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you know this song. You got Zacchaeus see. was a wee little man, a wee little man was he. <laughs> Woo! We he see. climbed up in the single tree for the Lord he wanted to see. Missing you, Jamie. Missing you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Luke chapter 19, um, starting in verse 1. You want to read? I basically just told the story. Yeah, but I wish you'd read it. <laughs> Let's go to Jesus for the Bible and not. All right, cool. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hurt my feelings like that. That's right. Uh, your wife is watching. Plan is watching. Hey, babe. Not in a meeting? She, she's checking you out, I think. What's so, up? How you doing? Right. Luke 19. Luke 19, verse 1, he says, He entered Jericho and was passing through, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich, and he was seeking to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not because he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must, stay at, I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down and grieved and received him joyfully. Um, and when, when, they saw, when they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Awesome. Awesome. So what, what translation were you reading from there? Uh, ESV. He always reads from the ESV. Why He's are like you so angry, dude? I don't know. I'm sorry. No, You're Jamie. an angry one. Man. He's like a, an elitist. Yes. I was reading from the ESV. Cool, 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 cool. Lead a standard version. Lead <laughs> a <laughs> standard version. I'm, uh, I'm sitting on, uh, what do I got here? Don't know today. NIV, as you all know. I knew that. <laughs> see? You see that look? <laughs> I, can't, I can't get this country club. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Not cool, with, cool, 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 cool. Not with those shorts. So what's happening in this story? Let's get to that. What do we learn about God? Oh, no, what, What's happening in this story? What's happening in the story? John Mark, a boy John Mark's watching. Hola, amigos. Great. Now you gotta say Spanish. What is amigos? It's the it's the uh, grocery store in Lubbock <laughs> where they sell the tortilla stuff. <laughs> cool. Yes. yes. So, he was saying hi to the grocery store in Lubbock. <laughs> What's up, John Mark? Love you, man. <laughs> Praying for you, for the kiddos, for the family. This is a weird time, man. Praying for y'all. Um, um, so this story, you have Jesus going through Jericho. Now, there is a song about Jericho you can sing. Josh fit the battle of Jericho. Jer 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 I sang that song when I was in high school. All right, so um, 
Jesus just mind his business. He, he, he's, he's not, he's on his way. He's going somewhere. Um, and, uh, and that's when uh, Zacchaeus is like, dude, I, I, I don't see who this Jesus guy is. He's a little guy. And so, uh, climbs in a tree. You don't understand that a at all. Tree. Tree. You don't <laughs> no, that's not a world I've ever lived in. <laughs> You've always been the big guy in the room. Huh? I have been, I was six, two in sixth grade. Oh my goodness. In sixth yeah. grade, I was, I, I wouldn't even five feet tall. But also, I couldn't climb up into a tree. No, you couldn't, but you were the tree. Yeah, I would have climbed you <laughs> to see Jesus. All right, Dad, about you. Yeah, so, um, Haley, Haley Baker's watching. Hey, girl, good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, so, Zacchaeus climbs up in the tree. Um, Jesus takes no, notice of him and says, come down, I'm going to your house. Immediately, there's a reaction. Um, everybody gets mad about that. Um, you, you can't go to this, be a guest of this sinner. As if, well, he probably robbed some of them a lot of money. Yeah. Well, and, and sinner, by the way, was an actual like job description back then. Tax collectors and sinners, they were, that was a job. <laughs> um, so that's probably what he's talking about there. But uh, yeah, you can't go to his house. And uh, Zacchaeus, pretty cool. We see repentance here. Yeah. He says, anything I've done wrong, I want to fix. I want to pay it back. Four times the amount, I'm going to make this right. That's that's repentance and turning to Jesus. Um, and then Jesus responds, his salvation's come here um, because the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. Zacchaeus was lost. Yeah. Let's talk about this for a second. Let's. Right. Can you imagine having so much money that you could give half of everything you have to support and then paying everyone back four times over? I can't imagine that. No. No. Um, it took me like... Uh, well, it took my wife like ten years, no, five years to pay back my my student loans. Like, so I can't imagine paying back everything and times four. Right then and there. Yeah, hang on, let me write you a check. <laughs> if Mike Watt writes you a check, don't cash that till Thursday. <laughs> it ain't good for a while. <laughs> right. uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, that's that's the basic story, and uh, we we find hope in this uh, Zacchaeus, who was. An awful dude, probably a thief, numbered with, with sinners anyways, a tax collector, uh, modern day uh, telemarketer is what I like to call it. Um, no one likes a telemarketer. Um, in fact, uh, if your job is telemarketing, we love you. Other people don't, uh, but us and Jesus do. There's a place for you at Crosswood Church. Um, but yeah, yeah, no one liked them. Uh, no one, no one liked the, the the tax collectors or the or the or the sinners, but. No one liked them. So, uh, where are we going with that? Uh, I was going to ask if they if they noticed anything. If the viewers at home noticed anything. Yes, you in the interwebs land, chime in. What did uh, what did you notice? What stood out in the story to you? Something uh, a light bulb moment. A moment when a light bulb went off. Is that what we're asking? That sounds good. Cool. Why not? Cool. Comment down below. We're going to move on to the next question, but we'll come back to it. We will come back to it. Uh, so the next question is, what do we learn about God in the story? What do we learn about God? What do we learn about Jesus from the story? All right. So here's the first thing that that I noticed. God, that is that Jesus was about his plan. And uh, and he, he, he slowed down. And uh, even though he had important things to do, he took time for Zacchaeus, this wee little man. Yeah. And uh, that's Jesus, the son of God. The sovereign, the second person of the Trinity, took time for an annoying little man. Um, yet I think you, I'm so busy. I was gonna say I'm so you, busy for you. Like no, no. I was gonna ask. Do you you resonate with that so much because you were once an annoying little man? A wee little man was me. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we we. I mean, one of our core values at Crossroad Church comes from this. Yeah. That section of scripture. Um, so the man came to seek and save that that which was lost. That's one of the things we want to be about is seeking and saving the lost. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's I mean that's Jesus' purpose. That's our purpose. Um, as the church, we want to be about what Jesus was about. He went and was seeking and saving lost, and when we're we're gonna do that too. And I don't know if this is an effective way of doing it. It feels like we have a lot of our Christian friends checking it out, which is a good thing. We wanna build up believers as well. Um, but also if you have lost friends, 
they can, this content might help them as well. So um, share, challenge, invite. Yep. Cool. Um, Alex here says, God uses everyone and anyone for his blessings, from the biggest wrestler to the smallest ankle biter. You're the ankle biter. No, I'm not an ankle biter, dude. <laughs> I'm the biggest wrestler. You're the smallest ankle biter. I think that's what he was just saying. Listen, Alex would never call me an ankle biter. All right? Listen, Alex. Maybe that's just me speaking for him. But it is you speaking for him. Don't put those words in his mouth. It's not wrong. He would use anyone. He would. Even you. Biggest wrestler. No. <laughs> you're, you're not on there. Did someone say Trevor's annoying? Yes. That's, <laughs> I just read that. It's in there somewhere. They, they deleted their comment about you being annoying. What else did we learn about God? Uh, uh, he was entering Jericho. He was entering Jericho. He wanted to see. Oh, Zacchaeus wanted to film. That's man still. Um, um, man, so here's what I think is interesting. All right. People misuse Revelation 3 a lot, mm-hmm. where uh, Jesus says, I'm knocking at the door. Um, I stand at your heart and I stand at your heart and knock and, and um, you know, we'll. Will you let me in kind of thing? Yeah. And they use that for evangelism, and that's not an evangelism verse. That's, that's, it's different. Um, this is how Jesus works. Um, <laughs> he tells the man, come down, I'm going to your house. There's no knocking. <laughs> there was no knock. There was not a question mark at the end of that. If Jesus says it, it happens. We do it. We respond mm. to him. And so, I mean, that's what happened to me. I was out going to throw some eggs in a mailbox. Um, you little wretch. I was I was the wretch the song sings about. That's right. <laughs> and uh, and Jesus said, no, 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 no. I, I got plans. And there was a church behind the mailbox was doing a tent revival. And, man, through that, I, I learned that, yeah, I'm a sinner and I need saving. And Jesus is the only way to take care of my sin problem. And so I was about my own business. But Jesus, like with Zacchaeus, said, Come down. I'm going to your house. <laughs> and uh, and I believe my house has changed. Like Zacchaeus, the legacy, the direction of uh, the house of what? That sounds epic when I say it that way, right? The house of what? The direction changed from that when as Zacchaeus, he took a sinner and said, no, I'm coming to your house today. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Um, yeah, anything else we learn about Jesus, learn about God? Um... Nothing we kind of touch based on all that. What about man? What do we learn about man from this story? Or what do we learn from the people in this story? What do you think? What do we learn about man? Again, if uh, Zacchaeus is the main, I mean, he's the man in this story. Who's Derek? Derek. What's up, Derek? Hey, buddy. Glad you made it. Glad you're at the party. Stick around. Party day what? That's right. It's my party. Not an ankle biter. All right? My party. I can cry if I want to. <laughs> but uh, we, we see man can respond to Jesus. Um, we see we see man doing a bit of having curiosity about Jesus. And I think that's a, that's a real thing. I think we've had many a men, people over the years, um, kind of a, I think of it like, a, what was that? Uh, Tim the Tool Man, Taylor, what was that, what was that show? Home Improvement. Home Improvement, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think many a people look over the fence like that guy Wilson. They're looking over the fence at Jesus, mm-hmm. um, haven't really shaken hands, haven't really come into face-to-face fellowship with him. I think peeking over the fence, I think that happens a lot with man. Um, but not until that did, that isn't what saved him. No, <laughs> peeking over the fence, climbing the tree, his efforts did not save him. It was when Jesus when he repented. Responded to Jesus. Jesus saved him. Today, salvation has come to your house. I was just saying that thing. It's interesting that he says, "Today, salvation has come to your house," and not you're saved because of something you did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Salvation came to his house. Jesus came to his house. Yeah. Um, Also, we see what repentance looks like. Yeah. Um, It may not be. I mean, maybe it's giving all of your money to the poor and paying everyone back four times. I'm poor, but. Crosswordchurch.org slash give. Um, but um, I think more than that, it was that that was re- specifically repenting of the sin he was guilty of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is clearly he had a love for money, and he repented of that. Yeah, um, and it's not like he got caught. 
he was convicted. Just being in the presence of Jesus, he was convicted. And, and in that conviction, man, he repented. Not just said, I'm sorry, but repented from that. Turned from it, did what he could to make it right. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex says, through the actions of Jesus, he taught us acceptance and grace. Yeah, yeah. Grace is a, I mean, that's Jesus' deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jesus is all about grace. Um, especially whenever he's coming for sinners. Yeah. I mean, people who are guilty of their of their sin. Yeah, Jesus, you don't see a big lecture in here about Zacchaeus, you did all these things, and call him out on these all these things. No, 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 he just came to his house, and Zacchaeus repented. He, he didn't need a lecture. He didn't need to get beat over the head with his own sin. He just responded to Jesus. Yeah. Um, and how did he respond? In repenting from those sins. Um, he didn't. He didn't need a. He didn't need a call out from Jesus. Just being in his presence, he was. He was called out enough and repented from those sins. And his repentance didn't just look like, "Oops, I got caught," or "I feel bad," or "I'm sorry." But it was, "I did wrong, and I'm going to fix it," um, or "I'm going to do my part to make it right." You know? Yeah. Again, not works salvation. That's not what we're talking about here. We're not saying we can earn it. We're saying repentance looks like turning from that life that you used to live. Yeah, uh, and I don't know if this is the first time we see this in the New Testament. It's just something I'm, that's on my mind. Um, but uh, he also is a son of Abraham. Yeah. Um, we don't know if Zacchaeus was a, was a Israelite, a Jew, or if he was uh, just a tax collector that was yeah. happened to be in Israel. Worked for Rome. Yeah. Um, but Jesus declares him the son of Abraham. Yeah. Um, later we learn from Paul that we're sons of Abraham through faith. Yeah, Galatians 3. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, I don't know, just an interesting point I wanted to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something we learn about people in the story. Zacchaeus, through Jesus, turning to Jesus, repenting from his sin, turning to Jesus, fulfilled God's promise to Abraham back in Genesis 21, 12, 12, 12, 12 17, okay. 21, somewhere around there. Somewhere in there. Yeah. He told Abraham, your descendants will be more than the stars. And uh, Zacchaeus is counted in those stars. Those of us who come to Jesus through faith. through faith, we are counted in those stars. We are fulfilling that promise. We learned that in Galatians 3. Um, but yeah, we don't know his exact background. Zacchaeus is a pretty Hebrew name, though, so it's possible. Maybe. Uh, what do I know? Um, cool. All right. Um, is there a sin to avoid here? Sin to avoid. Man, I think uh, I think those people um, telling Jesus what to do, <laughs> telling Jesus what he could and couldn't do, right? Yeah. yeah you want to avoid that sin. Yeah. You want to avoid the sin of telling Jesus what to do. And, uh, man, if you check out our sermons, I think two weeks ago we talked about a church that that said Jesus asked them for forgiveness. Um, and that's not the way it works. You don't tell Jesus what to do. He tells us what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, there's two kinds of things in this world, the creator and the created. Don't get them mixed up. <laughs> We're the created. He's the creator. Yeah. Um, I think another thing uh, that we uh, that we learn about, uh, or a sin to avoid here, is not necessarily a sin that's committed here, but something that I think people can fall into. That's what we talked about earlier with Zacchaeus thinking that he can earn some standing with God climbing the tree. Mm. That happens a lot in our culture here in West Texas. We think we can do enough good work so we can do the right things and earn favor before God. But that's not the reality. Yeah, the reality is in our goodness, we're still sinners. <laughs> in our goodness, we still need salvation. Uh, Alex said uh, Zacchaeus has self-accountability and repentance. Yeah, yeah, you see the repentance real, real clear in here. He turned from his old ways of cheating people of their taxes and turned to a new way of making things right and following Jesus. So don't do that. Send That's right. Avoid. Send to avoid. Don't tell Jesus what to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, example to follow. Yeah, I, I think I, that's it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the example to follow is, is like Zacchaeus. Um, repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe that salvation comes. That Jesus comes to seek and save that which was lost. Yeah. And that's, that's all of us. Yeah. We're lost. We're sinners. Without him, lost. Can't, can't get him lost yourself. Yeah. GPS is broken. Sin broke our GPS. We need Jesus to come into our sinful forest and get us out of there. Yep. Yeah. Um, example to follow. 
Let's see. Derek wants to know, do kids climb trees anymore? <sighs> no, sadly. Your corona, kids do. Corona killed tree climbing. <laughs> corona got them. Corona got that tree climbing. Uh, right now, yes. I know my kids do. We have about two and a half hours a day where that we label go play outside. <laughs> so that's what they have to do, which may be uncomfortable for the next week when it snows here. What? You didn't know this? Supposed to snow next week. Oh, uh, Texas. Yes, yes. I didn't climb trees as a kid. I don't climb trees now. But you were the tree. We talked about that. <laughs> it's, it's dangerous up there. I'll stay right here on the ground level. <laughs> you wouldn't climb the ladder at the other the other day at the building. I had to climb the ladder. You're right. Old man Mike. Still got it. Still got it. You already know your folks. <laughs> That's gonna do it for a Bible study. <laughs> I have been edified instead of kicked in the face again, so we're gonna go, we're gonna wrap it up here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, promise to claim. I like, uh, I think uh, Jesus, the Son of Man came to seek and save that which was lost. So again, if you're feeling lost in these crazy times, Rona, COVID-19, whatever country it came from. <laughs> what's wrong with you? I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, there's no Jamie here. There's no, there's no bit in my mouth to pull me back. But uh, if you're feeling lost in these crazy times, man, let's go to Jesus. And Jesus isn't some crazy, happy feeling you get. He's right here. He's, he's in these words. Let's go to, go to him, spend some time talking to him. Uh, when we pray, that's us talking to him. When we read this book, that's him talking to us. And so spend time doing those things. Yeah. And then I guess kind of the last question. Um, well, if y'all have any questions, Choose, choose a message down here or a comment, a, a question, or, or send us a personal question, whatever. But uh, the, last, the last question to ask is, uh, who can you share this with, or uh, what are you going to do with this? Um, obviously, I think, I mean, I think we can all find someone to share this with. Maybe. I think, what are we going to do with this as we're sitting at home? Quarantineville. Quarantined in our messy house, playing video games. That just my house is so clean, dude. It's ridiculous. Uh, Me being there has been ridiculous. We have never been so caught up on laundry. Thanks, Watt Boys. Uh, I've you. never been so behind. <laughs> you want to a couple of my house? Yeah, sure. We can do that. That'd be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, what Alex said here, repent and be saved. I think I think a lot of the time that we have to spend at home gives us a lot of time to actually think about um, what we're going to do with Jesus. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And uh, so Zacchaeus has a story. You have a story as well. I shared part of my story. And in the link I'm going to put, or in the comments when this is compiled or whatever, I'll put a link to uh, how to share your story. And it's just a quick how to, three questions to ask yourself um, to prepare to share your story with people. If you've not done that, that's a major part of following Jesus. He said, if you're, if you're a Jesus follower, we're going to take his word seriously. And he said, go and make disciples. And so we're going to, Go and make disciples, not not just sit and hide. We, we still have to be obedient to those words of Jesus. And so how are we going to do that while in quarantine, while social distancing? Man, we're only limited by God's word and our creativity. Let's stick to those things. Get after it. Yep. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap us up for today. We made it through this without Jamie. We made it through without or Jamie Jim. or Jim or someone saying, you guys calm down or back to the text or anything like that yeah i think go us i think we, we should go to uh we need that sometimes we do we do but not today <laughs> today we made it and made very few inappropriate jokes a couple into windows and uh i uh, think easter eggs i think uh easter eggs i think alex was our uh was our jamie today he was he was keeping he was us on here, track he kept us on track that's right he kept bringing things up and we were getting up off point way to go alex appreciate you all the way from jolly Old england Another cup of tea. That's coffee. It is coffee. I wouldn't drink. I do drink tea, but it's cold and it's sweet. Sorry, Alex. It's America, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, you guys be sweet. Show Jesus. If you got questions, let us know. We'd love to uh, address those and help you in your walk. Oh, I got a question. Y'all come out to the baseball field Sunday and join FBC Tahoka. They're doing, uh, what are they doing? They're calling it uh, drive-in drive church. Drive-in church. Drive I almost said drive-by. Those are different. Um, yeah, drive, drive in, in church. church. 
Um, yeah, FPC is doing that. That's a good thing. It's a cool thing. That's their that's their continuing to, to, to try to do church, and that's an awesome thing. We want to honor them and, and partner with them when and where we can. Cool. All right, guys. You guys be sweet. Show Jesus. We'll see you later. I got this. At least you were in pants today. At least. <laughs>